market history is to protect our portfolios from ourselves. So to get a broader perspective, in other words. So I, I think every, there's always some issue du jour, especially when the market sells off. We've gone a long time without a 10% correction we just had. And this is just part of the normal ebb and flow of the markets. The economy's fine. Inflation's low. Interest rates are low. Corporate profitability's fine. So this is just psychology uh, washing back and forth. Let's talk about a big bet that uh, you're making, and it might might have surprised some people. Bitcoin, uh, you think it's going to be a big winner? Well, you know, I'm actually we own Bitcoin in some in some client accounts, and uh, we put it in a, at a particular in a hedge fund that we have last year at a five percent position, and uh, it, it became a fifty percent position because it went up so much. But I'm not a Bitcoin evangelist. I'm not even necessarily a Bitcoin believer. I am a Bitcoin observer, and what I observe with Bitcoin is it's following a very um, time-honored path of disruptive innovation, going all the way back to the printing press, railroads, electricity, radio in the 1920s biotech, the internet. So, and you, you see the same thing over and over again, which is a, a, a great welling up of psychological, a great welling up of, of enthusiasm and people talking about bubbles, but bubbles are necessary to bring capital into the market to see if these innovations are actually uh, going to stand. But there's a great book called The... Um, <laughs> Uh, the Path of uh, Innovation by Ev Rogers, The Diffusion of Innovation by Ev Rogers that I would recommend okay. that everybody read. Well, Bill, I got to tell you, all the things that you just named changed the, the course and arc of mankind in history, so maybe Bitcoin will be the real thing. Bill, we had a lot of... So, you know, I've posted some videos because there's like this old lady on Fox News that just is always trolling Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. But I did bring up this point is that, you know, it's like 50-50. So they'll bring in idiots that know nothing about cryptocurrency and give you just garbage information. And in a way, whatever, they'll scare away, you know, probably the baby boomers. And, you know, that's one reason why I still think that this market can be undervalued because there's so many people afraid of cryptocurrencies because of the trolls. But it's 50-50 because Fox News brought up in someone who, um, who, I mean, he makes a great point, and I think he is the type of investor you want to be, is like, you don't want to just, you know, uh, I made a previous video of like, you know, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin kind of being like a religion or comparing it to Jesus, where it's like, you just blindly believe in it. Um, you know, this guy uh, is a, you know, his name is Miller, last name Miller, uh, is, you know, he's just a casual kind of, you know, he's not like a super crypto junkie, but at the same time, you know, he's a smart hedge fund guy. And the advice that he's giving to Fox News' audience is amazing. Like, this guy is really good. And that's why I wouldn't discount Fox News because it's like 50-50. You're going to get 50% garbage, but then at the same time, you'll get, you know, 50% some really good insight and information. Um, but I do totally agree with him. And, uh, you know, it is disruptive. What I like to, you know, compare cryptocurrency to is oil because oil was completely worthless for the longest time. And... Um, and, and a lot of these cryptocurrencies are right now completely worthless, but eventually, you know, we're going to discover cars and jets and planes. And when that happens is when cryptocurrencies become even more valuable or start to realize their true value. And um, that's what I would like to compare it to the most. You know, some people want to say dot com or, you know, they, there's always examples of history you can use. But the way I see cryptocurrency, it's a oil. And right now it's pretty worthless. It doesn't really bring much utility to us for now. Um, obviously, transaction fees are going down and it's improving, but eventually this oil will literally be uh, one of the most important, um, you know, commodities, assets, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's why I believe in cryptocurrencies. And, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. Um, and uh, I will continue to cover Fox News and these major news networks because like I said they have some great you know comical people that come in that have no idea what they're talking about but at the same time you know they have some really good insight and uh, you know I want to open this up to the audience too if you guys got any good uh, videos or any uh, insight um, you know let me know uh, either leave a link or drop your email we can share email so if you want to share some of your uh, clips too. I'll, uh, I, I would love to comment on it, so let me know. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if you, haven't, if you haven't had a chance, and I will talk to you guys soon.